Aloha. Aloha. Just rambling around Pehoa on the big island of Hawaii. In this video, we'll be staying at the Volcano House in Volcano National Park. We're going to be hiking by day, looking for lava at night, going to the southernmost point of the United States, along with the most southern point bakery of the United States. All right, ramblers, let's get rambling. Two minutes to walk off the plane and walk out here to get our. There's the uh, budget cars there. Yeah. Five minutes off the plane, we're ready to head over to the Box ticket. Box ticket. Yep. Ready to get the ride. Got lots to do. Hey, easy peasy. We took three minutes to get over here from the airport. There's budget. We walked right over here and grabbed the four-door jeep. Decided it'd be nice to have a four-door jeep to ride around and go enjoy some of the areas that you're gonna be able to enjoy with a four-wheeler. Took no time at all. Well, we almost fell at home in this one. Are you ready to go? We're going to Costco now. Yeah. Gotta make the first stop, Costco. We have all the bells and whistles as, as ours, but that's all right, we can, we can slum it. We're here, we made it, we got through it. We had one stop. Let's get some supplies. We're so excited. We had a long drive from the airport. It was about a two and a half hour drive, um, but we made it all the way down to the Volcano House. We checked in and we are starving. So we're sitting here. We found out we have fresh swordfish tonight and we're gonna have some poke because you have poke everywhere when you're on the big island. So looking for that. And, and we get to see- Unfortunately, the oh, glare. Look at it, it's really- I don't even know. I don't even know if you can see it. Like, there's lava out there. Yeah, you can really taste the vanilla. Yeah, let me try. Yeah, it's delicious. And honestly, after a long day of flying and two planes, this is great. Good? Yeah, there's good. You can taste the vanilla. Mm -hmm. Comes through real well. Yeah. So, poke. Okay. Yeah, let's, uh, it's called a poke it's stack. Yeah. Here, go ahead and give it a try. Good? Yeah, yeah poke is real good. These are a little stale. <laughs> Just because it's humid. Just because it's humid out. Oh yeah. Got a swordfish there. Let's cut into that. Let's look at that. Nice and flaky. It's, better it's almost like a pork chop. This is almost like a pork chop. For anybody who hasn't had swordfish, it is like a pork chop. It's delicious thick. and thicker. Mm. It tastes like, you yeah, know, there's a oh, yeah. seared. Some green arugula. I love arugula. You can even taste the lily coid that they put throughout that too. So. Uh, Volcano House so restaurant is a winner. Yeah, I think so. Definitely swordfish. You have to definitely stop in here. Right. We need to watch out. It's haunted too. There's specters and phantoms. Well, there you go, right there. there. Okay. Yeah, see? We're gonna hit that. Get there. Oh, okay. We're up in the gear. Straight up. Oh, yeah. The whole sky is red because we're heading to the lava. 
tell what direction the lava is in, that's for sure. Well, you can see the steam coming out of the caldera. Last night you could see the red lava flow. Staying here at the volcano house and we get a view of the caldera, Kilauea, on the big island of Hawaii. wing was built by the Civilian Conservation Corps in 1932. Originally served as a park headquarters. Got in last night. We had to drive about two hours over to the volcano houses where we're staying. And so we were pretty tired, but we went and hurried up and did a little hike out to the lava, had a nice dinner, and woke up this morning and we are luckily right here in the middle of the national park. We're staying down there at the volcano house and lots of little trails and walks from the volcano house out to the lava and then right across is the visitor center the visitor center so you'll see throughout the day everything's within 10 15 20 30 minutes even an hour to go to various places how's it going so far ron so far it's been successful i woke up you woke up <laughs> yep it was a great dinner last night swordfish um, they have yeah, a nice the restaurant. Good. And uh, now we're gonna head on over to the national park and see what's going on here today. And look at some more volcanoes and do some hiking. There you go. You have to find out where to get your stamp at. Only gonna get busier. Get some stamp. Yeah. You're documenting that. Yeah, we have to have proof. Proof of the kill. Look at that. Look at that. Them. Good. So, visitor center and volcano house. Stay up. Beginning of the lava tube trail. In a different pocket. You know, that's it. No more marble pants. I got too many pockets to figure out what I should say. Yeah, definitely you're gonna have to watch your head in here. How's it? Emerging out of the depths of the earth comes <laughs> Jody. Zero incidences. Yeah, nobody got hurt. No accidents, no, incident, event. But it was and very it was short. Lit. Was lit, so yeah. I'd say anybody pretty much can go down there too. Little kids can go down there. They think it was really neat. And it was very short. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you see everybody out there? Oh, that's cool, yeah. yeah. trip hike four miles so to the floor it's 1.2 the Iggy trail is a four mile loop with an elevation gain of 741 feet 
expect to take two to three hours to complete the loop. This desolate trail takes you right over the Kilauea Iki Crater. From here you have a spectacular view of the devastation from the 1959 eruption. This is where the, the, the crust buckled up. We're right by the crusty buckle. Four miles, did the whole loop, weren't going to. Last minute decided why not? Let's just do the whole loop. Why not? Earn our earn our beers as usual. Earn some food. And we're still we still got the whole day of some more trails. Do some trailing. Do some trailing. Glad we just last minute changed our mind, decided to do the whole thing and decided we'll take some of our other trails and do them tomorrow morning. All right, let's wrap this up. <laughs> let's get this one. Oh, well, that's exactly where we were. Yep. Nui. Te pu'u o pele nui. Good job. Yeah. Good job, yeah. mister. And then there's uh, pu'u pui i. So this is where we were. Now we're up at the top. Did a four mile loop. Finished yeah. ourselves up there on four mile loop. We didn't yeah. stop and we're gonna only do some of it. It was good. So it was let's a good just, little hike. Now we're gonna go do some more exploring. Yep. A chain of crater road now. Chain of crater road. Chains of crater, chain of crater, chain of crater road. Chain of craters. Chain of craters road. <laughs> The Chain of Craters Road is on the way down to the Sea Arch and to the Petroglyphs. It's a good place to stop and stretch your legs and look at the craters from eruptions past. Many of the craters are overgrown, showing how nature is slowly taking them back. Continuing on down the road, we pass through the lava fields on the way to the coast, down to the sea arches and to see the petroglyphs. going to continue on foot down to the viewing area. From here you'll see the powers of the wind and waves as they fracture the cliffs carving sea caves. Watch your footing along the Pu'uloa Trail as it is uneven winding through the lava fields. Pu'uloa, translated as Long Hill or Hill of the Long Life from Hawaiian, is a place considered sacred to the people of Hawaii and those of Kalapana in particular. The archaeological site of Pu'uloa contains over 23,000 petroglyph images. Some of those images are motifs containing capsules or holes, motifs of circles, other geometric as well as cryptic designs. Some of the other images are human representations known as anthropomorphs. There are also canoe sails and even a feathered cape motif.
southernmost bakery in the USA. Southernmost bakery in the USA. Is it the Bismarck's? Puna Lulu. Good? Mm-hmm. Good? Yeah. The Lily Koi frosting is real good. Okay. So this is a Lily Koi cheesecake. Yeah, look at this. So it's a regular cheesecake, but they just put this Lily Koi syrup sauce on it. Yes. There's a little bit of saucer. <laughs> I want to see if they sell this sauce. No, I'm buying it. Yeah. And you can put it on anything. Or on toast. The Lily Koi Malasada. Definitely. Hello, thanks for coming. So it was a win for your... Yeah, win for the malasada, win for the... Sort of a win for the cheesecake because the, the sauce on top of the cheesecake was good. It uh, was a win all yeah. over. Their breads looked amazing. So the Southern Point Bakery, you got to stop in here for malasadas. They were phenomenal. The lily koi on them is incredible. And I'm going to try later on tonight the other malasadas that we bought. It was a great little bakery and worth stopping in at. Where are we, Ron? We're in the southernmost point of the United States of America. On the Big Island in the Hawaii. Big Island of Hawaii. Yeah. Sand Beach is that way, too. Yep. I think we're going to pass it from the Sand Beach. So you thought you got it made for. He's a living, slipping out the back door. But it's not what you made for. And there's nothing that is too late for. get in from coming around there? Nope. Yeah, you can come down in the middle and let me in. Okay. okay. Thanks. Heading out to the lava again tonight. And if you find this video helpful, please hit like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe. Because we're going to be doing a lot more beyond this. And we're making a second trek out here to get some more footage of the lava. So far I'm glad we came out here a second night because it looks like there's a lot more going on tonight. A lot more. The great thing about staying here at Volcano House is you walk right out of your room and head right out to either the visitor center across or you can start hiking immediately. And we're going to head over to the sulfur banks this morning. Sulfur banks and uh, steam vents and uh, yeah, all the trails are accessible from the hotel. So yeah, so here's the Volcano House and then we came out, now we're here. And then we're going to go along the sulfur banks trail, so it's only 0.7 miles and then Come back through here, look at the, the steaming bluff. We're gonna go around the crater rim today. There's that crater right outside of our our window of our room is the crater. It's so nice. Alright, so here we are. Look at the pretty golden colors of the sulfur. Oh, we 
chose this place because it's just centrally located. It's really easy to just walk out and go for a hike. Um, you've got anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour drive to everything around here, the lava tubes. Um, we went and visited the Southern Point. Um, everything's around here. So a lot of people, if you stay in Kona or you stay in Hilo, you've got anywhere from an hour to two, two and a half hour drive to get over here to this side and enjoy the volcano area. So a volcano house, is I we picked it for the location to enjoy this area for a couple days. It is an older um, place, so it's not you know anything fancy. But um, they did a great job with the restaurant, uh, the lobby, and there's some history there. A really good history to go look into. Yeah, we're staying right here at the crater, and it eliminates a lot of the drive. Similar, we did that in Maui at uh, Kula Lodge when we drove up to Haleakala. So that shaved off about an hour of it. And so very convenient. All these trails here are accessible. Very easy, very easy to get to. And so like this one right here, here's a volcano house. Here we are, only a half mile. And then you got another nice little walk right along the crater rim trail. Volcano house has been nice for us. We've enjoyed it. It's been comfortable. The dinner was amazing. The swordfish was great that night. The restaurant is good. Um, and there is a lounge. So yeah, Georgie's or George's Lounge? George's Lounge is George's a lounge. lounge. Um, so definitely, you know, it's centrally located. It is something worth thinking about. But it is, like I said, older. I can't stress just, you know, older older bed, older mattress, older room. But we have a view of the crater every morning. And that's been really Each fun. night you have Each a, night you a can glow, see. the glow of the crater. You can see it from the room, and uh, that's pretty cool. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. So it's it's been good. It was a good decision overall. So, all right, off we go. Holy cow! It's like a little sauna. And then directly across from us is where we were viewing the crater last evening, last two evenings. And then you can see where the. That's where the road ended, because the crater collapsed. Oh yeah, so that road. used to be a road all the way across you could drive the crater. All the way around it, yeah. And now it collapsed. Crater, uh, crater rim drive. Yeah. And it collapsed. There's Eleven miles of it fell right into it. So this is the museum right there and back in 2008 and then 10 years later 2018 you can see where the, the crater collapsed. Mm. And you can also hear view from behind the volcano house and the same view just uh, two months later. Yeah. So quite the devastation. Oh wow, yeah, because look, it's like flat, and then two months later, it's a big old crater. So this was three months difference. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. If you enjoy watching a middle-aged, overweight, fat man sweat, make sure you hit like and subscribe. Getting ready to leave Volcano National Park. We enjoyed our time here, stayed at the Volcano House. So now we're getting ready to head to Hilo. Uh, we're gonna go there for a few days. It's the rainiest side. Uh, we're gonna hit some waterfalls. We're gonna go to some other, uh, they'll show you the town, try a little snorkeling. So there's a variety of things we're gonna be doing. And we're going up to Mauna Kea. Uh, so I'm really excited to go up to Mauna Kea and check that out. Yeah, so, so stick with us. So hit like and subscribe so you can watch me drink beer there in the Hilo Brewery. Mm, yeah, and don't forget, get those notifications so we can keep you going on what else we're doing.